While you were busy courting death by fireworks all weekend, you probably missed the hungry hippo of space, 3D printed light art, and the Japanese response to a robot duel challenge. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where we see life as one giant Pac-Man game. And I'm back from vacation, so say goodbye to these guys. That took longer than I thought. Switzerland's EPFL space agency wants to capture space debris like a hungry, hungry orbital hippo. The agency aims to launch a new, larger satellite to recapture some six-year-old mini satellites that are just hanging out in Earth's orbit, cluttering things up. Loving the open concept. It would locate the tiny CubeSats using a high dynamic range camera, then ensnare them in an extendable net. It's like Pac-Man at 15,000 miles per hour. Once it's full, the satellite will fall out of orbit and burn up on re-entry sometime in 2018. What do you get when you pull the plastic filament out of a 3D printer and sub in an LED light? An assembly line of mini Tupac holograms? What the f is up, Coachella? Coachella? Not exactly. Instead, an architect in India has done some hacking to print 3D images with light using just such a setup combined with some custom code and a DSLR. The strokes of light are captured by long exposure photography or video, and the result is a dot matrix style hologram. Mecha manufacturers in Japan have one thing to say to the American challenge for a giant robot duel. Bring it, peons! In a video response posted on YouTube on Monday, SHI's founders slammed not only the Americans' engineering, but also upped the stakes with demands for melee combat, which basically means the robots would rip each other's arms off and stomp on their big robot faces. The Robot Thunderdome will happen sometime next year. And that's all the weird stuff we could find. See you tomorrow.